What if I told you you can keep ads active forever, basically never having to turn off an ad? Now you're only able to do that if you get one thing right, and that's cost caps. The key thing here is to create ads that can get your desired CPA that you are requesting from Facebook. Now in this video, I'm going to talk to you about cost caps, what they are, how to run them, how to manage them, and basically get to a situation where you never have to turn off an ad again. So I wanna keep this video action packed and as short as possible so you can get the insights as quick as possible. So I have a system right here in front of me that I wanna walk through with you. So let's get right into it. So um, you can see right here um, is the cost cap system that we have within the agency, how we basically operate cost caps, how we run them, how we manage them, and how we get them to perform so effectively, basically. So um, you can see right here, um, what is the desired CPA? So for example, you have a desired CPA of around $20. Next thing up is we're going to create cost cap walkdowns with your first set of creatives at 2x your cap in terms of budget. So um, the $20 cap um, we set in the ad set one with a 40 budget. Uh, we want to give it a $40 budget because that way Facebook or Meta can uh, get some more purchases for the budget you're setting and we'll give it some room so you can get like some more purchases coming in if Facebook do, does decide to give it um, its whole budget basically. So then um, the second asset is 19, so $1 below your uh, target uh, CAC, and then also 18, and then you can go down to 17, 16, etc. You get the gist of it. So um, we're now going to see if these cost caps are going to spend their entire budget at our desired CPA. So two options basically. Spend at target, now good. Um, we're now going to test more creatives at this cap, and if the full budget is spent, we'll bump it up by 10 to 20%. So basically we wanna test different ads. So we have seen like one ad performing really well at our desired cost cap. Uh, we basically test everything in the DCT and from there we'll see which ad um, performed well at our target CPA. We get those learnings and we create more ads like that. Um, slight variations, also new concepts. And from there we'll see which ads are also able to generate those sales at our target CPA that we give Facebook. So we had one successful one at, for example, 20. We wanna create more ads at a $20 um, cost cap basically. Um, and we're also going to try higher caps. So the original was 20, um, which achieved our target. So we're going to try 21, 22. And one little trick we've seen as well is to put a low budget and a relatively high cost cap. So for example, we're now getting uh, sales at a $20 cost per acquisition. Um, we wanna put that like double and just like lower the budget and see how it will operate. Sometimes we're able to like trick the system a bit to outbid the competitors and from there get more volume at our um, target CPA basically, even though you're setting the cost cap a lot higher. So that's one little trick to help you get some more volume basically. Um, if there is no spend, now basically the creative is not able um, to get at the target CPA. So we need to like do the two things there. Find creatives that can spend at that target CPA. So. Um, if your creative is not spending at the desired uh, cost per acquisition, um, that's a creative issue. Like your Facebook is not confident in that creative and it's not seeing it a creative that can get like a $20 CAC or $19. So that's a creative issue. So you need to go back to the drawing board, create better ads. And ultimately if you have a killer creative, it will get like spent at that like a cost cap you're setting. Um, or of course, increase the cap. That's also uh, one way to also being able to um, generate sales, but ultimately you have your target within your business that you wanna aim for to acquire customers. It's a 20, so you don't wanna go too high because if you go to like 25 or $30 um, cost per acquisition goal within, within your Facebook ad account, um, Honestly, you're telling Facebook you can spend that much to acquire a customer, so it will not be that efficient. And the way cost cap works is that they are just super efficient at just like telling Facebook what to do, um, input the creatives, input the variables, and from there Facebook will decide to give it spent if it can get that uh, target CPA. Um, obviously, if it's overspending and not generating results, then there is something like 
wrong as well. Then you need to look at your creative. Maybe it's too engaging. So Facebook obviously also has goals. Like it's Facebook goal to keep the users on the platform as long as possible. So there are two goals. It's your business goals and also your, um, and also Facebook goals basically. So you want to make sure that uh, your creatives match those both those goals basically from Facebook and also your business. So that's ultimately what you want to get um, and try to make your ad account super efficient. Like for some ad accounts, we're operating at 60, 70% of cost caps, but because they're working so, so well and are so efficient of getting us sales. So um, that's basically the whole system, how we operate cost cap within the agency. Obviously you can try bid caps, which are a bit more conservative compared to cost caps. Uh, they work as well. So kind of the same strategy uh, right here, um, but you can set them a bit higher because they are a bit more conservative than the cost caps. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, I hope it brought you a lot of value. Um, leave a like down below, um, leave a comment down below. I'm really interested to know how you guys are using cost caps. Uh, is it any different than our method here? I'm open to learn like more ways of operating cost caps because I know there are multiple ways to make this work. So I'm super excited to get those ideas as well and uh, look forward to see the next video in the next few days as I'm really excited to bring you guys a lot more value on this channel. So um, that's it and see you in the next one.